everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we're talking about unit conversion. These are for those problems, often in word problem form, where you are converting from miles to feet, from meters to kilometers, those sort of things where you're just converting units, quarts to pints, liters to milliliters, also converting rates, miles per hour to feet per second meters per second to kilometers per hour, that sort of thing. So I'm going to do the units first, just the plain units, and then we're going to move on to the rate. So I'm going to put links in the description below. So if you need to jump forward to that rate, that's um, that that's those types of problems. If you're needing that, if you're needing help with those, so you can jump forward straight to the rate section. So first things first, how do we convert units, just straight units? So if I said I had five inches and I want to know how many feet that is. The method I'm going to show you relies on something you've uh, hopefully encountered before in fractions and that is canceling. We have things on top and bottom that we can cancel out. And just as a very quick refresher, so if this is not ringing any bells, this is the sort of thing where if you have, uh, let's say it's like five over seven times three over five and you go oh i have a five and a five one on top one on bottom i can cancel out i'm multiplying those i can cancel them out it's also if you bring in um bring variables into this like this you would say oh i've got an x on top and an x on the bottom and i'm multiplying things so i can cancel them out i've got a y on top and there's a y on the bottom i'm multiplying things so i can cancel them out that concept is what we're going to use to make this a lot easier for these conversions to make sure that we're doing the conversions correctly. So for five inches, I'm going to start by saying, okay, five inches, and I'm just going to put this over one. It doesn't change anything. Just putting it over one, just so you can really see what I'm going to be doing when I say I'm canceling things out. Okay. So five inches. And then what you're going to put next to it, what you're going to multiply by is the standard ratio of inches to feet. This is critical. Inches are on top here. They need to be on the bottom over here. That's the key. If you do not get that right, you're going to get the wrong answer. So one needs to be on top. Then it means the other needs to be on the bottom when we're doing this standard ratio. So how many inches are in a foot? 12 inches are in a foot. Don't get me started on the, I know that's strange. Anyone who's coming here <laughs> from uh, countries where metric is more commonly used. Yeah, I know. I know 12 to one is, it can cause issues, but anyway, <laughs> yes, metrics easier to do math with a hundred percent, but this is what we got. So here we have, we have inches on top and we have my inches on the bottom. So just like I just showed you with the canceling, we can treat these like we did would with variables. To be clear, these are not variables, but they're behaving like variables in this case, and we can cancel this. So there's an inch on top, an inch on the bottom, cancel those out. The only unit now I have left is feet, and that's what I want. I want it in feet. So I multiply on the top, five times one is just five. On the bottom, one times 12 is just 12. It's five twelfths of a foot, and if your teacher wants that in decimal format, you can give them to that, give them that <laughs> to them in decimal format. I want to say it's like, mm, actually, I don't want to say what that is. I don't know that one off the top of my head. I don't know twelfths. So there's, there's our principle. We're going to start with what we want to convert. We're going to find the standard ratio between those two things. We're going to make sure that whatever unit we're trying to get rid of is on top and bottom. So they cancel. And the unit we want to end up with is on top. Again, this works for any units. This can be distance. It can be volume. It can be, I'm, I'm blanking on what other things we can measure. <laughs> oh, there's many things to measure, but those are only two that are popping in my head at the moment. So distance and volume and just any of those units they're asking you to convert. Rate. Let's move on to rate. Rate is a different beast because we have two things at the same time. And most likely they're going to ask you to convert both of them. Occasionally they'll throw you a bone and only have you convert one, but more often than not, they're going to have you convert both things. When we say rate, we're talking about a distance 
over a time, like miles per hour. I know we normally write it MPH, but mathematically, this is what we mean. Miles divided by hours, miles per hour. It can also be feet per second or kilometers per second. There's a lot of different ways, but it's distance per time, per unit of time, unit of distance per unit of time. A standard sort of problem they're going to give you would be something like, let's say, five feet per second is how many miles per hour. Now on these, I'm not going to tell you the steps before I do it. I'm just going to jump in and show it to you. I think it's easier to do it that way. You have to do this in two separate stages and the stages are different in how you approach them. So first we're going to convert the five feet per second using the method we just did. And it's going to be a little, little tricky. The next part, a little different when we convert the seconds. So first I'm converting feet to miles. And like I said, sometimes they're nice and they'll do, if this is so many feet per second, how many is it? How many feet per hour is it? That's uncommon. It may happen, but you know, if it does just go, oh, thank you, math worksheet person. You made my life a little easier. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. So feet to miles, I'm going to use that same method that I just showed you where I said, five feet, put it over one. And uh, how many feet are there in a mile? I want the feet to cancel out. It's on top. So I'm going to put the feet on bottom and the miles on top. So those feet cancel out and I'm left with miles, which is the unit that I want. So how many feet per mile? It is 5,280 feet for one mile. Yeah. Who came up with those numbers, right? <laughs> Could it be any more of an oddball thing to have to remember? 5,280 feet for one mile. So those feet cancel out. And it's five, oh, divided by 5,280 miles. Now, depending on how precise your teacher wants you to be, you can leave it like that or you can... Uh, you can divide it. It's it's up to you, really. I'm going to kind of leave it like that for now. I'm going to leave it like that and say, okay, so it's 5,000, 5 over, excuse me, 5,280 miles. So it's 5 divided by, I'm going to write this little sideways as a sideways slant, so you'll see in a second what I'm doing here. Miles per 1 second. I want to make sure we have those two separate fractions. <laughs> those are very clear. Those are two different fractions for one second. Now I want to know how many miles per hour. Okay. So what do I want to put on this side? Do I want to do like I did up here? Do I want to cancel out the feet? Do I want something with miles down here to cancel out feet? I'm going to cancel out miles like I did up here with feet. No, that's not what I want. I want miles to stay. I want miles per hour. I'm trying to get rid of the second. I want this to be hours instead. I want it miles per hour. So how do I convert seconds to hours? I'll show you. There's, there's some different ways you can do this. This is my favorite way. I think it's the easiest. Um, and also, too, if you don't know offhand how many seconds are in an hour, you can do this step by step to make sure you're multiplying things correctly. And I'll show you what I mean by step by step. So first I can say how many seconds are in a minute and then seconds is down here. So I want it to cancel. So I'm going to put seconds up here. Okay. So seconds in a minute, there are 60, oops, still in erase mode. Sorry about that. 60 seconds in one minute. Okay. So there, my seconds are going to cancel. Now I have it in miles per minute, but I don't want it in miles per minute. I want it in miles per hour. So I need to convert again. How many minutes are in an hour? Minutes is on the bottom. So I'm going to put minutes up here. So then the minutes will cancel out. How many minutes are there in an hour? There are 60 minutes in one hour. 
the minutes are going to cancel. What units am I left with on top? Up here, the only thing left is miles. On the bottom, only thing left is hours. Miles per hour. And that's what I want. And this is critical. Look at the bottom. I've got one times one times one. That is key. You need to have on the bottom be one. Because it's how many miles per one hour. When you say miles per hour, that's what you're saying. That hour needs to be one. And if you get to the end and it's not, then you're going to have to do some more converting. So if you can make sure you're doing that early on, it's very helpful. So now I'm just going to multiply everything that's on top. So my calculator, I'm going to enter 5 divided by 5,280. And I get this long fraction, excuse me, long decimal that doesn't <laughs> stop easily. Then I'm going to hit multiply by 60 and then multiply by 60 again. And I get 3.4. I'm going to round to the hundredths. 3.41 miles per hour. Okay, so I'm going to do one more of these with kilometers, just so you can kind of see where I'm going here. And I'm going to do, if it is, let's say, 70 kilometers per hour, how many meters per second is that? So first things first, I am going to convert kilometers to meters. So 70 kilometers. And I'm going to put that over one and say, how many meters is that? Well, I want the kilometers to cancel out. So I want to put kilometers on bottom, meters on top. How many meters are in a kilometer? That ratio is that there are a thousand meters in one kilometer. Now I've got my kilometers on top and bottom, so they will cancel out and just have meters left. That's what I want on top. So 70 times a thousand is 70,000 meters. So now I know it's 70,000 meters per hour. How many meters per second? Okay, I'll zoom up, move over. All right, so 70,000 meters in one hour. I need to convert this to seconds. Now this is we're getting from bigger down to smaller. So we're going to end up with a big number on the bottom. That's what's going to happen when you're going bigger to smaller. But remember what I said at the end of this, the, the, the time, the hours, the minutes, the seconds has to be one. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so 70,000 meters for one hour. And let's convert this and say, okay, hmm, I don't know offhand how many seconds are in an hour and I don't want to mess it up. So I want to do it step by step. Side note, if you know how many seconds are in an hour, you can go ahead and do that and say one hour and write how many seconds. That's fine. This is just sort of a backup way or a more step-by-step -step way. So you can make sure to catch any of those um, mistakes of like typing 60 too many times or that kind of thing. It, it happens. It does happen. And writing it out like this, I find, can, um, can help alleviate or stop those mistakes from happening. So 70,000 meters in one hour. How many minutes are there in an hour. Remember, I want the hours to cancel. It's on bottom, so it needs to go on the top. So I'm going to put one hour here. How many minutes? The standard ratio, one hour is 60 minutes. Okay. Oops, don't need equals yet. Sorry. And so then we're going to change from minutes to seconds. Already, my hours have canceled. So now I want minutes to cancel, so I need it to be up here in my next standard ratio. How many seconds are there in one minute? There are 60 seconds. And now those minutes have canceled. And okay, I've got meters on the top. I've got seconds on the bottom. It's going to be in meters per second. Oh, yes, I'm on my roll now. Okay, on top, I have 70,000 times one times one. That gives me, as I erase my equal sign, 70,000 on the top. And that is meters. On the bottom, 60 times 60 is 3,600. And my units are seconds. So I have 70,000 meters per 3,600 seconds. Yay, I have my answer, right? No, no, I don't. Right, this needs to be, as we mentioned before, one second. It's how many meters per one second. That bottom number is always one of that time unit. If it's per one second, per one hour, per one minute, 
per one year, per one week, whatever they're telling you to do, it's one. So this has to be changed to one. The way you do that, it's not complicated at all. You just do this division in your calculator. You say 70,000 divided by 3,600 and you'll have your answer. It's that simple. It's just really a matter of remembering that that's what you need to do. So 70,000 divided by 3,600 gives me 19.4 repeating, or if we want to round that to just 19.44, and that is meters per second. And that is my answer. I've converted it. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.